if you study psychology, especially modern positive psychology, there is a big emphasis now on well-being and the study of happiness. And they've moved away from abnormal psychology, figuring out how the human being can break down and figuring out how to fix it. And now there's a lot more emphasis on increasing well-being and happiness. And what they found is, very fascinating when you look at all these studies, what they find is that everyone wants to be happy, and yet they found that people pretty much live on this sort of baseline happiness. It's a set point. And that when really exciting things happen in your life, you have a peak, but you pretty much go back to baseline. And similarly, when something difficult happens in your life, you have this, you know, this low, but you pretty much come back to baseline. And this baseline is not so easy to change. But they found that there are two reliable ways to increase the baseline. And what are those two reliable ways? Number one, service to others. That in the service of others, you can actually increase your own baseline happiness. Something that you can't do by winning the lottery. Something that you can't do by getting a promotion. Those are temporary spikes. But service actually increases the baseline. They found something else that reliably increases the baseline, and that is the practice of gratitude. Gratitude is so powerful, they find, that keeping a gratitude journal, just writing down three to five things that you're grateful for every single day has been found to even help with symptoms of depression. So gratitude we've found today in psychological studies increases you in happiness and actually helps you with depression. Now let's go back to the statement of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you are grateful, I will increase you. 